ACI 1948 here, and I have a new product to play with. This Saker Grease Gun Coupler was sent to me by an Amazon seller to review, so that's what we'll do. The Saker Quick Connect Coupler fits a standard 8th inch national pipe thread and is compatible with all grease guns and is rated to an impressive 14,000 PSI. The current cost is $20 and can be found in the link below. Now let's go out and put it to the test. Step 1. Find your grease gun. Now this head has a 13 and the hose has a number 12. You go ahead and loosen that and take it off. And then we're ready to put the new saker on. Go ahead and thread that on there. And give it a little good tighten with a number 15. And for me, another number 12. And just like that, we're ready to test this out. So now what you do, you hold in, press it on there, and it holds on really good. So go ahead and start pumping grease. You should see it coming out of here and here. Maybe not on this fitting. It seems pretty. We'll try a different one too. We do have grease coming out. It's a 1929 case model L. We'll go ahead and just push this on here. Click it back. It's really on there now. Start pumping away. You should should see grease come out of this one. Right there, it's starting to come out. Mostly off the back. To release, push in, and she pops off. Now let's give this thing a real test. This spindle is actually locked up. So we're gonna hook this on here. There it is on. Pump it full of grease and see if that will help loosen it up. This thing might be just wore out too, so this might not work. But we can at least see if it'll go in a rusty spindle. No, she's pretty locked up. Let me get on the back here and try it. There it goes. So it did work. It got some grease in there. That's pretty impressive. It does seem to leave a little bit of residue on the outside, but not bad. So my final thoughts on the Saker Grease Gun Coupler. Seems really good. It seems to clip on and stay on. Some of the fittings it would click on with pushing up on this handle and other ones it was just kind of loose on with the handle, but it stayed clipped on good. All depends on how wore down your fitting is, I guess. Um, there's one issue I do see, and this here is just kind of big and bulky. And I know that, you know, the stock one's definitely a lot thinner. If you have a recessed hole or something, you may have a higher chance of getting on there with this. So, has its ups and downs, but for general greasing, if you got a lot of stuff to do over and over again, it's pretty easy to just snap it on there and use your other hand to pump the grease gun so i think it's pretty good for the twenty dollars this here i'm definitely going to keep some around with this but for a lot of my greasing i'm definitely going to use this guy 
So that's going to do it for this video. Check out this. It's in the link in the description. I will see you in the next one. Thanks for watching. If you enjoyed this video, hit uh, like and subscribe for more. And I'll see you later. Have a great day.